Ready? Yeah. Imagine if you were the boss. It's insane. Of all your family's money. Oh, I'm loving this. You could buy whatever you wanted. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one. Whenever you wanted. That is gorgeous. Without having to ask your parents. What can you do with this camera that you can't do with your phone? For a whole month. Went shopping, got swimmers, got myself a new shirt. Five, six, seven. I think it was over $200. Hi. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? Ooh. This is the beginning of a dictatorship. Michael is a 15-year-old who lives in the city. I love hanging out with my friends, walking around the city and go shopping. I buy like one of the splitters so I can like charge my phone and listen to music at the same time. I spend a lot of my time like browsing eBay as well for like random stuff that I don't need. I don't think I've ever been able to like say no to buying something stupid, like wasting a lot of money. This is a kazoo, the worst seven bucks I've spent my entire life. So I kind of need to get into the spirit of saving money. Michael is not good with money. He would spend his money. He would just get crazy. Yeah, get crazy. So I just want to teach him how to manage his money. My name's Eddie Wu. I love numbers and showing people all the amazing things we can do with them. And I'm about to make Michael a real life teenage boss. I live with my dad, uh, Gabriel, and my little brother, John. We share a pretty small apartment. Michael loves music and recently started playing the piano at school. So now he's dreaming of owning his own keyboard. I like this one very much. I want to like be able to practice at home because like I only get to play, practice for like an hour or two at school. I need something that would like fit in my room. Something with like a USB cable, hopefully, so I can plug it into my laptop so I can, you know, record stuff onto there. To help save for his goal, Michael recently got a job and landed his first paycheck. Dad's curious to know if there's any of it left to save. Have you been paid yet? Um, yeah. Spend it all? Uh, not all of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. this morning at 4 o'clock in the morning, I spent like... 4 o'clock in the there. morning? Yeah. When did you buy? It's all sold out, like, close. Wow. Also, I... I got a burger with four extra meat patties and five extra chicken fillets. How much cost you for that? <laughs> like, $18. $18 for that? Yeah. That's your pay, pay right? Yeah, the first thing I bought. Keep that photo later mm. when you get all the... This is my first pay from work and I spent it on my big burger. To help Michael learn to save his money, Dad's called in the backup. Me. Michael isn't shy about spending money. If any cash makes it into his wallet, it isn't there long. His dad wants him to be more responsible with his money and that's why he's called me. I'm about to give Michael more money than he's ever dreamed of. But of course, it comes with a catch. There you go, buddy. Hey, Hedy. Gabriel. How are you? So good to see you. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Yeah, excellent. I wonder if I'm Michael's home. Michael. Michael. So good to see you, man. Your dad mentioned that uh, I should come along because I hear you have some challenges with managing your money. Is that true? Maybe. I actually have something here that might help you with it. Do you mind if I come inside to show you? Yeah, well, yeah come in. Yeah. Brilliant, awesome. Either awesome. way, thank you. <laughs> Michael, you've had some experience with money. You also got a job now, but having money and um, you know knowing what to do with it are two very different things. It's not like one specific thing. It's more of just, I see something cool. I want it. <laughs> yeah. I need him to learn how to save his money for something good. Um, what I have in this case over here is a bit of an experiment. Michael, I wonder how you would feel if instead of dad, you had to make financial decisions for everyone in the family. Do you think you could do something like that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this case, is your family's entire money for the whole month. It is, in total, $2,520. Whoa. It's a lot of money. Have you ever seen this amount of money all at once? No. <laughs> You're going to be the boss. 
you're gonna have to make all the financial decisions. What might you spend this money on? What comes to mind? Maybe like a piano or something, because like I've been getting really into like learning, you know, piano. Do you have any idea how much a piano costs? Not cheap. Like around like 500 bucks. Yeah, wow. I hope you're ready for this. I'm gonna be here to help you out and to guide you through this process of making a plan for how we're going to budget this money. But I think right now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time just to absorb and think about what it is that you're about to embark on. All right, I will talk to you very soon, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. No worries. <laughs> so, you are in charge now, Michael. You're my best son. You know, I love you. So I'm gonna sit back this month, just like men on holiday. I'm just gonna sit down at a lot, and you are in charge. I'll do my best. You do your best? Yeah. That's good. This is gonna be a month of chaos. Are you worried? Uh, slightly. I'm gonna go see if Patrick's around. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> my biggest fear is um, Michael is going to spend money online. You have to. To see this. He must think, oh, I like that, I want that. I like that, I want that, I want that. And then he never know how much money he's, he's, he's going to spend. Oh, that's mad. Like, I can't imagine what I'm going to get with this. What to get first, though? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Spread this out, Spread Patrick. It out. It's like a bet of money. <sighs> this is the life, Patrick. I don't think I've ever seen it, like, that much money. Like, I've seen, like, a $100 note, like, once in my life before. So what are you going to do with all this money? I don't know. Maybe get, like, a piano. Michael is dreaming of spending big. Oh, this is going to be the best month of my life. But to make that happen, he'll need to save money from his family's okay. normal budget. Is it starting to sink in yet? I can tell it's going to be fun, for me at least. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's tricky because now that you're a boss, it's not all fun and games. You do have to manage the whole family's money, and that's what I'm here to help you with. First up, Michael needs to understand that some parts of the budget, the fixed costs, have already been taken out. Like, say, rent. You also have electricity, gas and water, different kinds of insurance. Everything else that's left over, you get to make some decisions on. A grand total of $2,520 is for Michael to play with. Everything that you decide to spend money on needs to add up to that, or less. You know, you can save some money if you like, but that's the max, okay? I'm gonna have now, no money at the end of this. Well, this is tricky, right? Talk to you soon. Michael now has to figure out how to save money. Oh, no. From what his family normally spends. I didn't know we spent, like, $1,000 on groceries a month. I guess it's a bit, like, overwhelming, like, I'm in charge, so I get to like boss John around and stuff. That's gonna be fun. But I mean, uh, I just, like account for bills and actually feed John and stuff like that. Oh, I'm gonna be like a dictator. <sighs> I'm gonna be like a tyrant and like everyone like do my bidding and if they don't, then like no, no rations. I'm the boss. It's gonna be hilarious having him boss for the whole month. He probably will buy really a lot of junk. Can you turn the TV off? The boss has arrived. <laughs> it says that we have $1,000 groceries uh, every month. I cut that down to about $750, like to be safe. The food and like eating out and stuff, that's gone from $500 to $300. We could do a lot more cooking at home, I guess. Next, I've got entertainment, which was at $100, like for movies, games, music, and going out and stuff. I'm gonna try to make this the most boring month ever to save as much, much money. <laughs> so I've changed all that to about $40. So it's gonna be just you two? Am I allowed to come or not? I mean, <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> I got one, one other thing, which is, if you guys want to come, you can pay with your pocket money. You guys get $10 a week pocket money. Are you guys happy with that? It's up to you. So all of the expenses comes up to... Uh, they total to about uh, 1965 from our regular 2520 meaning that I've saved about $555. I'm going to be buying a new piano. <laughs> Are you going to do that? 
You know, what do you think about that? I mean, it's probably like the first time you say it for anything. <laughs> so that's okay. something? Yeah. That's something? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fantastic. Good luck. And I'll be in touch with you soon. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Thank See you. Ya. What are we having for dinner tonight? Because you are with the boss. Um... <laughs> <laughs> It's Michael's first chance to save money and cook at home. So I think me and John, John my little, John be my little brother, we're gonna go out for get some takeaway tonight. Yeah, I feel great. You know, I'm I'm the boss. I'm in, I'm in the I'm in charge. Not tell me all. The thing is, tomorrow we have a uh, grocery shopping. This is gonna be fun. His budget could be in for a bumpy ride. I haven't exactly got a list. Usually, whenever you're shopping, Dad will just remember what's in the fridge. I guess I'm gonna have to try doing that now. I'm gonna get him like a head of lettuce because he's like vegetarian. I'll maybe get him like a zucchini as well. He doesn't know what I <laughs> what, what I eat. He knows that I eat a lot of vegetarian, but I don't know what he's going to buy for me. Today I've got around about 150 to 200 dollars for groceries. I'm looking for maybe like essentials because we've got like nothing at home. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that essentials. Bare essentials. <laughs> Two minute noodles are pretty good. So you know they're they're quick, convenient, easy, cheap, lazy, great meal. <laughs> I think this is definitely last us a week. I like shopping on my own because um, I get to make all the decisions. Like, there's no, like, no, too expensive, put it back. It's all just, like, yeah, go for it, Michael. Oh, uh, it's fine dinner. My boss. I think we should get a coffee machine. We've got enough, like, like saving and budget. Even if things go wrong, we'll still be, be safe. You know, Dad's gonna wake up, he's tired when he goes to work. I'm, I'm being nice. It's a gift for the family. We also need coffee and then milk frother. I think I'm like around my $200 max, if not over, so hopefully I'm underneath. If we go over, it's fine, I guess, because, you know, we've got enough budgeted. Mm. Plus, it's easy to make like a big pot of like chili beans, something like that, that can last a week and cost like $20. Are these ones all chicken? Uh, yeah. All right, 228 It went like a tiny bit over the budget. A tiny bit being like close to $30, but that's because it's a giant coffee machine and that's like a one time payment and it, it pays itself off. This is perfect. It would have been like $100 without the coffee machine. We're all good. Michael's happy, but what will vegetarian dad make of the shopping? We've got some croissants. Croissants are essential. Noodles, I'm gonna keep that on the table over there. He only one like noodles. John doesn't like a lot of John noodles. John loves noodles. John has noodles all the time. He doesn't. Mm, don't think it's good. <laughs> Can't wait to try your dinner. You know, I got like stuff like sausages, uh, kebabs, lasagna. We can have that like sometime this week. What am I going to eat? I, for I forgot to get you like actual food. Okay. Michael, I haven't bought anything for me at all. You haven't even bought fruit. Fruit? Honey mango. I bought my favorite fruit today. Whipped cream. No food for dad. And the best surprise is yet to come. We bought a coffee machine. You got a coffee machine? Really big coffee machine. Wow. A coffee machine? What do you want a coffee machine for? That's a lot of coffee. I know you love coffee. We've got coffee here. Yeah? Do you don't need a coffee machine? Well, coffee is definitely not for everyone. Coffee machine. Please don't break it. I'll hold the box. Ready? It's exactly what Michael thinks they need. So we're going to put this over here. I'm just going to put some water. I'll put that there. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. There, I did it. Yeah. I did. It's good. I like that. And now clean that up. 
After blowing his shopping budget on the second day, Michael shows no sign of slowing down. Got myself a new shirt because I need a new shirt. Because, uh, shirts? I got like myself four drawers. I did get a bunch more coffee pods because they're amazing. I don't want to run out because these ones are limited edition. It did cost me like close to 20 bucks though. I've got the receipt for the shoes that I bought. $129.95. It's been a busy first week. I wonder how Michael's savings are coming along. I have no clue how my budget's looking right now. I've been putting off actually checking for ages. So I'm just gonna make a guess and say mediocre. Yeah. and things don't get any better. The next day, the budget remains untouched. Three days later, he still hasn't looked at it. And the next day, no, still no budget update. Nor the next. But not knowing what he's already spent doesn't stop Michael spending even more. I'm probably gonna spend like under 50 bucks today. I've got like slightly above middle-aged man. <laughs> Patrick. We're getting these. Yeah, me and Patrick had like a pretty good day today. Like we bought a bunch of sunglasses we don't need. Things have definitely taken a detour from Michael's original plan. Michael's been spending recklessly for two weeks, but reality's about to crash land. Hey, Dad. Hey, Michael. Hi. I need to tell you something. Okay. Yeah, um, I got a fine from the tribe, $648. How'd you do that? I just missed the way bridge and, uh, and I got a bill, so... I can't believe you. Come on. You're paying for that. I'm not paying for this. Oh, man, come on. You, you, you're the boss. You got all the money. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I still got stuff to save up for. I know what to do. I'm not going to pay it, and I'm going to wait till my month of being the boss is over so you don't have to pay extra. If we don't pay, you know what will happen? What? I can lose my license. And then if I lose my license, and then we're not going to have any job. Mm. We'll, just, we'll do this with when you get back. All right, just all right, focus on getting there. back. Don't get any more fines. See ya. All right, bye bye. Mm. Michael, great to see you, man. Ah, great to see you too, Eddie. How are things faring? Are you going okay as the boss? Uh, not that good, actually. I mean,. I was doing fine up until about, like, five minutes ago. Oh, no, what happened? Like, um, I got a, a call from Dad. He got a fine. This is for the truck driving, this is for work, yeah? Yeah. $648. Oh, wow, OK. I guess the lesson to come out of this is unexpected things happen, and that's just the nature of managing money, and hopefully now you'll understand. Uh, you'll probably have to say no to Dad or to John when they ask you for money for certain things. And you have a really good reason for that. You said, no way. Like, we've got this huge bill to pay off. And now you understand this is why sometimes we have to say no to things we want because there are things we need to pay off. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> okay. What I'd like you to do is you may need to go back a little bit through some of the receipts that you've collected. Have a look at how much you spent on groceries. How about petrol? And see how much you've actually spent. And then you can work out, well, I've got some spare here. I've got 50 left over in clothes and shoes. I'm gonna put that to the bill. Um, I've got some entertainment money. We haven't really used it. I'm gonna put that to the bill. Uh, you're probably gonna have to dip into those savings you'd set aside. And I know that's not fun, uh, but that's part of why we have savings in the first place because these things do happen. Thanks, Michael. You're almost there. Talk yeah. to you really soon. I am going to have to do the budget. 
I've been avoiding for the entirety of the month. Fun times. If Dad did this like two weeks later, I would have gone through the month without having to do a budget, but I wouldn't have learned anything, I guess. So I guess it's good I've learned something from this. From now, I'm gonna have to actually tally how much I've actually spent and how much I've left. I've mainly found money in the budget from stuff like groceries and eating out. I think I have enough on my keyboard. From now on, I'm gonna try to like crack down on like spending and stuff. No unnecessary spendings. I'm not giving the card to anyone. Done. Things have just got real, and Michael heads for a grocery shop with good intentions. I got a list. I want to get actually get food, but it's like mainly like stuff for dad. I mean, onion with onion. Onion right there. True. Get mangoes. Do you want to go get me like a thing of mushrooms? Fresh veggies. What is fresh veggies? That's like so obscure. I like the only one who eat cereal. You can only have them if you like have them with water instead of milk. Oh, John, you want rich hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay. And here we go again. I'm gonna get another one of these ones just because they're limited. Just get one. And while he can't resist all temptations... <laughs> Good one. At least this time, he's bought some food for Dad. Good day. It's $86.24 for those. And still hoping to save enough for his keyboard, Michael heads into the last week as the tough boss. This is one of my last days as the boss. I'm trying to keep, like, spending low. I'm trying to buy, like, Stuff that are on special, cheap stuff, so I can buy my piano and maybe stuff, like extra stuff. Get these pencils, they're cheaper. No. Same brand, they're literally the same thing. HB, 2B, same thing. What are you, no, you, but I'm not getting that. This one's cheaper. Uh, it's just getting really stingy over a dollar. I'm taking these, I don't care what he says. It's the last day that Michael can call himself the boss. At first, he loves spending his dad's money, but after that big fine, he's really reined it in. Is it going to be too little too late? Or has he managed to save enough to get the keyboard he so desperately wants? We're about to find out. You got given $2,520 to play with for your day-to-day -day costs. Do you want to tell us how you went with those? Everything that I control of, which is stuff from like petrol to like groceries and stuff, I did pretty well. Like starting with like public transport and taxes and everything, that was at fifty dollars before. I budgeted I budgeted that to run about twenty five. I did go over by three dollars to twenty eight dollars, but that's still cool. Like we still saved quite a lot. Mm. Next we have food and groceries. One that I bumped down from one thousand dollars to seven hundred fifty. Um, I ended up spending like 779, but that's still a, a, like around like 20% like less. Next is eating out and takeaway and stuff. That was at $500 a month. I'm like, wow, I bumped that down to like 300 and I ended up spending like 256, which is less. Next was like clothing and shoes and stuff, which was um, at 240. Uh, I ended up using that one for myself because like I, I'm, I'm the boss. Next is the fine. I had no money allocated to like anything like emergency wise or anything. All I had was a savings, which I could take money out of and then like budget stuff for. Uh, which was uh, 648. It's a big sum. It's a big out sum. of nowhere. So all of those savings have pretty much covered, you know, most of that. So well done, Michael. I mean, Gabriel, how do you feel when you see something like that? I know you was upset. You better crank about it but he ended up paying it, so which is it's good. He done very well, because it's not just only for this month, it's for all his life. Are you ready to see whether there's anything left in this case after a whole month? Yep. And at the end of a month, what is left is... $77. I'm very proud of you that you done very well. 
at least you got $77. Michael, your goal at the start of this was to save for a keyboard. Though you didn't come out of this month completely, you know, empty-handed. You've got a nice pair of shoes, you've got a pretty decent coffee machine out of it. But it's not what you're hoping for. How do you feel like you've gone as the boss? Do you think you've gone all right? I feel like I've done pretty good. Well, as of right now, Michael is still the boss. You still have a few dying minutes where you get to make a decision about this. So, all right, take care, guys. I'm gonna spend the last couple minutes that I have left as the boss um, actually, like, like, proud of myself. So, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go, like, contemplate buying a piano. I feel good that I buzzed it and saved so much money. The $77 does help because I can put it together for my work money and buy the keyboard.